Hello everyone, today I'm going to review the Viltrox 27mm f1.2 Pro lens on the Fujifilm X-T5. I know some of you waited a while for my review, but you know me, I like to put a bit more work in my reviews and I also like to use the lens for a while before I give my verdict, so I took this lens with me to Rome, Italy for a job. I used this lens for a couple of weeks with my Fujifilm X-T5 and X-H2S. You will see later autofocus tests with both cameras, but the photos were taken using the X-T5. Also, the test footage was shot using boost mode on both cameras. I promised Viltrox I would take this lens with me in Rome and man am I glad I did because it's such a special lens. There are so many things to talk about when it comes to it, but first I want to thank Viltrox for sending me this lens to give you my honest opinion about it. Let's start with build quality, like recent Viltrox lenses, this is very well built. It rivals Fujifilm's build quality while keeping things different. I like the lens, I like the shape and the build quality. In recent years I reviewed and used a lot of lenses with bad lens hoods, including from Fujifilm, but this one is great. I know the one on the Viltrox 13mm f1.4 was metal, but this is a larger lens and I think Viltrox wanted to keep the weight down. The lens hood fits in place nicely, but it may seem like it is not well placed and it is going to fall, but after using it for a while in so many places and different situations, I never had an issue with it. The lens is made from metal, it has a nice smooth finish, it is weather sealed, all lenses with the Pro badge should be weather sealed. I used the lens in light rain and very dusty conditions and had no problem so far. It has a 67mm filter thread that is very useful to me because most of my lenses have that size. I'm going to talk about weight and size when I talk about the image quality because when it comes to this lens it is going to make more sense like that. It has a very well balanced aperture ring, I personally like it this way compared to the louder one on the 13mm. It feels like you have haptic feedback when you use it and makes almost no sound. Great in places you want to be very quiet. You can say this is a pro feature, wedding photographers know what I'm talking about. The focus ring is made from metal and it turns smoothly, it is very easy and nice to use. On the metal mount you can find an USB Type-C port for future updates. Viltrox have updated all their lenses in the past so this is a great thing. I rarely used 27mm lenses on APS-C in the past but this year I use this focal more and more and after using this lens in Rome I like it even more. It is good for cityscapes and landscapes and a blast for street photography. This lens and focal are so versatile. You can use them in most situations and because this lens is so sharp you don't need a 35mm or even a 50mm on a 40 megapixel sensor. Just crop, you want more background separation, get closer. I think this is going to sell like candy to wedding photographers. And if you want wider shots, don't forget about panoramas. It's a great trick when you want wider shots, like this 6 photo pano I shot in Rome. Yeah, it's not my best photo because I was tired, but you get the point. I know this won't work for everything, but people usually forget about it. And talking about background separation, this lens has such a nice bokeh at f1.2. The transition from in focus to out of focus is so nice, the background doesn't look busy and you get this 3D pop depending on how close you are to your subject. This 3D pop which I enjoy on this lens is also helped by the heavy vignetting of this lens. Some people don't like this but I don't mind it at f1.2. Stop down to f4 and it is gone. As I previously said, this lens is sharp. It is sharp starting from f1.2. It is a blast using this lens in low light with the X-T5. I think this is the sharpest bright lens I used so far on the Fujifilm X system. 
Stopping this lens down slightly improves image quality and gets rid of vignetting and longitudinal chromatic aberrations, which are very well controlled at f1.2 and go away at f2.8. Speaking about aberrations, chromatic aberrations are nowhere to be seen. This lens is an amazing performer. I think Viltrox did a great job when it comes to image quality and this is why I left the size and weight discussion for this part of the video. You won't mind the size and weight once you use this lens. I roamed the streets of Rome from morning to midnight using this lens with a hand strap and I was okay with it. Yes, I stopped to get a coffee and eat from time to time, but still. And if you're a professional like me, meaning you make money from your work and want the best low light performance and image quality, you won't mind the size and weight because this lens is sharp from corner to corner at f1.2. This is something most lenses achieve at f4. And if you add the price to the equation, the size and weight are negligible. I used and I have new lenses from Fujifilm, but the Viltrox is just a bit better. So let me show you a comparison with the 33mm f1.4 WR. I took 5 photos with every lens in different shooting modes like mechanical and electronic front curtain on a tripod with IBIS turned off to get the most out of these lenses and chose what I think are the best results to compare. Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like to get close and personal to your subject, this lens has a 28cm minimum focus distance and the image quality is great from f1.2. I think Viltrox is doing a great job with these new lenses and I can't wait to see what they will bring next. Now let's talk about photo autofocus and after that let's get to video. The photo autofocus worked great. I rarely missed a photo because of it. Actually, I think I had more misses with the 33mm WR. That lens needs a firmer update ASAP. It's not the fastest, but so far it was reliable. A test in a controlled environment does not compare with the experience after you've taken thousands of photos. So after taking so many photos, I can say it is good. Now, when it comes to video, first of all, the lens suffers from focus breathing. I hope Fujifilm will add a feature in time that compensates for this like Sony did. The autofocus in video is decent as you can see here. It is not as confident as the one on the 13mm but like that lens and others before it, I think Viltrox is going to improve it with firmware updates. I got this lens before it was released so you may get a better result if you buy one. This lens if you don't make long focus pulls stays perfectly on subject even in low light at f1.2 as you can see here. I never saw the autofocus jump around for no reason. That is a good thing. This lens is amazing for low light footage. It was the perfect pair in Rome for my X-T5. Even if it has focus breathing, it is still a good lens for video because of its f1.2 aperture. And finally, let's talk about price. I think this lens has an unbeatable price for what it offers. Yes, this lens is not for everyone, but I think there are a lot of people out there that were waiting for a lens like this. Some people will think this is a weird focal, but I found it quite useful for so many situations, as you saw in this video. Overall, I think Viltrox struck gold and this lens is going to be very popular among professionals and enthusiasts. If you were looking for a lens like this or you were not sure about it, I highly recommend the Viltrox 27mm f1.2 Pro lens. 
If this video was helpful, subscribe, ring the bell to get notified when I release new videos and use the links in the description to support the channel. See you next time.